Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Poco F3 versus the Oppo Reno5 Pro and guys and the Reno5 Pro has a MediaTek Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset with a 12 GPU of RAM while the Poco F3 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 chipset with a 8 GPU of RAM. On the back we have quad cameras on the Reno5 Pro we have a main 64 megapixel main camera as compared to triple cameras on the Poco F3 we also have a main 14 megapixel main camera on the Poco F3. I know that and the Reno5 Pro it is a much much expensive phone than the Poco F3. I want to see that how much a difference between a Snapdragon 870 versus the Dimensity 1000 Plus inside the Reno5 Pro. So without any wasting time let's get right into it. And cast and both phones is completely off. Now let's start off with the boot up test between these two devices. Here we go. At the logo it is here more faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Reno5 Pro and both phones is running on Android 11 we have a MIUI version 12 as compared to Color OS version 11.1 .1. and you can see Reno5 Pro it is faster when it comes to booting up be the Poco F3 when it comes to booting up but not a huge difference about 1 or 2 second difference between these two devices and as you can see that both phones has a very beautiful display we have a full hd amoled display on both phones but we have a 120 hertz refresh rate display on the poco f3 as compared to 90 hertz on the reno5 pro and also both phones give you a punch hole which is on the center on the poco f3 which is also really small on the poco f3 as compared to on the left hand side on the reno5 pro and the reno5 pro also has a curved display and you can see which gives a more premium feel over the poco f3 so guys everything is closed up in the background no app is running in the background and also we have same wi-fi network on both phones now let's see the phone dialer on both phones and that is just a tiny bit more faster on the reno5 pro as compared to the poco f3 so next on the list is the settings and that is exactly the same on both phones no difference here again we have 120 hertz as compared to 90 hertz on the reno5 pro so now let's start off with the amazon shopping on both phones let's see amazon shopping and more faster on the f3 as compared to the reno5 pro now let's see the scrolling and that is feels really smooth on the poco f3 as compared to the reno5 pro again we have 90 hertz as compared to amazing 120 hertz now let's check out some games application now let's start off with the candy crush saga again we have a snapdragon 870 versus the dimensity 1000 plus faster on the f3 with the Snapdragon 870 chipset. So now let's see the pinout on both phones. Next game application, now let's see that which one is faster. Again, faster on the Poco F3. Now let's see Subway Surfer. And you can see in the punch hole on the Poco F3, it is looks more beautiful than the Reno5 Pro. And this time, faster on the Reno5 Pro. So that's really interesting. Now let's see the Tampa 2 on both phones. Last game application we have in the speed test, and that is looks just a tiny bit more faster on the poco f3 let's see at the end yes it is just a tiny bit more faster on the poco f3 some application it is not really optimized right now on the poco f3 so that is why it is sometimes perform really fast let's see snapchat that is faster on the poco f3 let's see spotify faster again on the poco f3 as compared to the reno5 pro so now let's quickly launch the pubg mobile game on both phones heavy game and let's see which one is faster there and that is faster on the f3 and you can see definitely while the reno5 pro is take a lot of time you can see poco f3 it is done and and now the reno5 pro it is also done now let's open up the tutor faster on the poco f3 followed by the reno5 pro zedge and faster on the poco f3 and you can see as compared to the reno5 pro now let's see the scrolling and that is feels really smooth on the poco f3 again we have 120 hertz as compared to 90 hertz now let's see youtube on both phones and that is more faster on the poco f3 as compared to the reno5 pro now let's see the scrolling and that is fees I would say more smoother on the Poco F3 again we have 120 Hertz on the Poco F3 so last time we're launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one 
and that is more faster on the F3 as compared to the Reno 5 Pro. Now let's see the internet bound speed I am seeing for Google Chrome on both phones. Now let's see wikipedia.org and that is more faster on the F3 as compared to the Reno 5 Pro. So now let's see the scrolling and that is feels really smooth on both phones, more smoother on the Poco F3. Next on the list is the Apple.com and faster on the Poco F3 and you can see followed by the Reno 5 Pro. Now let's see the scrolling and that it feels really smooth on the Poco F3. Again, we have 120 Hz as compared to 90 Hz, which is not really looks 100% 90 Hz on the Reno 5 Pro. I don't know why. So guys, now let's see RAM management on both phones. And we have a 8 GB of RAM on the Poco F3 as compared to 12 GB of RAM on the Reno 5 Pro phone dialer. No refresh. Let's see settings. No refresh. Amazon shopping and that card refresh on the Reno 5 Pro. I don't know why. Let's see Candy Crush Sega. And that is not refresh. Let's see pin out. Subway Surfer. No refresh. Let's see Temper and 2. No refresh. Let's see Snapchat. Let's see Spotify. No refresh. Let's see the PUBG Mobile. No refresh on both phones. So you can see that. One application so far refresh on the Reno 5 Pro. Now let's see the tutor. That is not refresh. Zedge. YouTube. Last we are back to the internet browser where we left and you can see. And Casora up to say regarding the app's opening speed is definitely more faster on the Poco F3 because we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 which is more faster than the Dimensity 1000 Plus inside the Reno 5 Pro. And also the RAM management is absolutely incredible on the Poco F3 as compared to the Reno 5 Pro. One application refresh on the Reno 5 Pro. So that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Poco F3 versus the Oppo Reno 5 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.